Alright, so we just arrived in Sladington. We're at the Sladington Heritage Trail. We're gonna go to Bedbug Cave. Uh, we were here a few months ago, but I didn't make a video because we didn't have good enough lighting. So I brought a good light today. And then, uh, yeah, we're parked here. We're just gonna follow the trail back and we'll show you the cave. So the trail is back this way. I believe we turn right over the bridge, right? Yeah. yeah so we're gonna go there, right? We'll follow the creek along back to the cave. <laughs> So it like rained like crazy yesterday, and it also hit like 60 degrees when it's been snowing. So everything melted and water is moving so fast today. Alright, so this was actually a quarry. It wasn't like a natural cave. They used to mine in Slatington. I think I might have explained that in my cliff jumping video from Slatington. But um, that's where we're going to go. The cave is up there. And next time you see us, we'll be in the cave. That's the entrance to the cave right there. Like I said, it was really icy and snow, so everything's melting now. That looks really cool. That's the entrance to the cave. So, I uh, guess I'll go first, get my flashlight ready. It's so cold, I'm hoping it's a little warmer in the cave. Oh, it's so icy, dude. This is all ice. It's gonna be hard to get out of here. You good? Yeah. Take like a little slide right here. All right, we're in. Did you slide down? Yeah, kind of. See the, uh, right. See that little handle there? I just kind of slid down that branch. This little log okay. there. It's, it's not yeah. icy there. Put your foot there and grab that. All right, get your headlight ready. What do you think? Is it gonna be hard to get out? A little bit. It'll, it'll be a little hard, but. All right, here's your tripod. All right, so hopefully you don't get lost in here. This one comes through a complete circle. And then we're gonna go back to where it goes farther. And then there's something here. Really? It looks like a. Was a fire pit or something? Huh. No. Kind of cool though. It's probably just like probably a fire pit. Monsters. It's so much warmer back here in here than it was outside. Oh, something terrible happened when it happened. The dead are coming. The monster comes and gets It's a really big cave. Is there anything back this way? Alright, so there's like two ways to go now. There's a tunnel over there, and there's this way. There. Yes, we're on table down. How can we have a table down here? Very good. Uh, not really good. This wasn't here last time, right? No. Someone brought this out to fold. Where was there on the track? really clear isn't it yeah that you guys could tell but the water is super clear and it, I can't really tell how far back it goes but um over the summer we might go in and try to come through here and see how far back the water goes but today we can't because it's so cold there's like a little cave underneath there too so that'd be cool to check out then over there, there's more land. Um, I'll go around that way because this connects with that other tunnel. So all kinds of cool graffiti. Some of it you might find a little offensive, but something I could really do to cut that out. I'm pretty sure that this one 
just connects to the water. Could you get a picture of me? All right, so we're gonna take some pictures right here. The graffiti's pretty cool, and then I'll show you those. I right, see. So yeah, that's the uh, that's where we were before, over on that side, right over there, where I have the light, and then um, the water goes back really far. I can't see the end of it. I can see right there, but then it looks like there's another bend. So in the summer, I definitely want to come through here. The water looks really clean. It's probably filtered through the ground, the rainwater. But um, yeah, I definitely want to go back here, see how far back this goes. So Aaron's setting up his tripod right now. He's gonna take some pretty cool pictures, so make sure you give him a follow on his Instagram at ahagerman18. I'll also put that in the description for you. So he's setting that up, and I just came over here, and it goes back there too. All right, so if you haven't noticed, I haven't made a video in like two months. Um, I've just been pretty busy, but this is gonna be the first one in like two months. But I'm going to Punta Cana in two days, so I'm hoping to do daily videos there. And I'm also planning on doing a winter cliff jump, probably at Sladington, like right around here when we get back. So yeah, you guys can look forward to that. All right, so there's really not a good place to set up the tripod, because <laughs> there's like nowhere flat. And Aaron's camera just fell over, and it uh, got a little wet. The bites fell in. But yeah, as you can see, like it's on a complete slant here. Actually, that looks pretty flat. But of course, it's right next to the water. But, uh, right now, the camera's still working, so it looks like it should be okay. It didn't go all the way under. It's not really that deep right there. I'm gonna try to get out of here. I'm gonna turn the light off. You want to put your camera in your bag? I don't think so. I don't want to get a video. All right, so I'm gonna attempt to climb out with the camera in one hand, but uh, it is extremely icy, as you can see. Oh. This is gonna be rough. This is frozen over. Yeah, like all of it was. God, dude, this is so slippery right here. Oh. Woo. My hands are so cold now. I'm just grabbing the ice. Woo. Stuff. I'm gonna go on this slide. Here, get a video of this. Alright, ready? Yeah. Three, two. That's crazy. Alright, so we're just warming up in the car now, but I didn't bring my drone, so Aaron has his. He's gonna fly it. You probably saw those clips in the beginning. Um, make sure to give him a follow on Instagram at AJ Hagerman. Wait, is that what it is? A a. Hagerman, A. Hagerman 18. Uh, follow him there, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and share this video.